We're back in the kitchen with Chef Mark. This week, we're taking on the Cowboys. That's right. So we're cooking up some Cowboy Chili. Lots of ingredients. Kind Lots of run of us ingredients. through what. So we got ground round, bell peppers, onions, chilies, a variety of spices, kidney beans, tomatoes, garlic. Uh, there's a lot that goes in this chili. So we have all our ingredients, and then here we go to try and put this all together. We have a hot pot here with That's some right. oil in it already. That's right, a little bit of vegetable oil. You don't need a lot, so we're just going to go ahead and ground up, brown off our ground beef. We're just going to put that right in there. Ooh. like to hear that good sizzle. That's right, you need to hear that sizzle. So you want to brown off your beef first so you get that nice color on there, because that's what adds that flavor. You don't want to break it up too much. You want that chunk. Okay, so we have our meat in the pot. It's nice right. and brown. We can hear that sizzle. What's the next step here? So we're going to pull this out so that way we can set it aside and we're going to start cooking our vegetables in this same pot. So we're going to use some of that beef fat to be able to cook the vegetables down. Okay. It's just going to keep a nice beefy flavor to it. So we uh, have the rendered fat from the ground beef and we're, we're adding half of our onions. You can hear that good That's sizzle. Right. Okay, so add half of onions and half of our green bell peppers. Our green bell peppers. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, and half our poblano peppers. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Right. So we're just going to let this cook down. After this renders down and gets nice and soft, we're going to add the rest of our onions and peppers and our poblano. This is absorbing all that good beefy flavor right That's now. Right. Yes, it is. So we put our veggies in, we got our peppers and our onions in, we're letting them kind of get soft and caramelized, bring that sugar out. And so what's the next step after this? Well, we're going to add the rest of our onions and peppers in here, but a real quick note, if you see you're starting to have a couple little items stick on the bottom, if you want to take a little bit of the beef stock that you're going to use, put that in the pan, help deglaze the bottom of that pan. It'll get all of that gradu out of there and it'll just add that extra flavor to the dish. So it's all about the flavor that's here. That's right. So go ahead and add the rest of the peppers, the onions, the rest of the poblanos. Don't touch your eyes now. <laughs> Got add it. Your garlic. Garlic looking good. Yeah. We're gonna saute this down for just a couple of seconds. You're gonna add your spices in before you add the rest of the, uh, the ingredients. So if you wanna go ahead and just dump those in. And so now you're starting to get, when you add the chili powder and all the rest of it, you're starting to get the smell like, oh, this is definitely some chili That's shaping it. up here. That's it. And once you get it to this point, you're pretty much just dumping in the rest of the ingredients and letting it simmer, so. So we're gonna dump in these kidney, kidney beans. beans? Okay. We've got some stewed tomatoes to add the, the tomato -y texture throughout the whole, uh, flavor throughout the whole chili. And then we're just gonna add some, uh, some have tomatoes. Stir all this together. Make sure we get all those seasonings incorporated into the tomatoes and the beans. Yeah, this is really shaping up. And then we're just gonna add our beef stock. How much beef stock? Two cups. We're just gonna stir that together. Once we get that incorporated, we'll add the ground meat back in. We're gonna pop a top on it. We're just gonna let it simmer for about 30 minutes on the stove at a low, low, low heat. You just wanna build those flavors in there. So. And add this in. Okay, so we got everything in the pot, put a top on, and let Just it simmer. Let it go for about 30 minutes. Okay, so we had all the ingredients in the pot cooking down for about 30 minutes. This is what it'll look like this is what it'll uh, look after like. it cooks down. Now, this looking so good, I think it's ready for a plate, honey. Yeah, I think we need to get this going. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and ladle this into this bowl here. You Ooh. like a lot of chili? I like a lot of chili, I'm not gonna lie, but you know I like a good chip well, with mine, go like either a tortilla just... chip or a corn chip. I like all the accoutrement for my chili. <laughs> so if people are looking for this recipe, where can they find it? So you can go to Ross's website. We've also got our Facebook page where we're doing a uh, Facebook Live cooking show. So we got a ton of recipes on both of those websites. Okay, and you, of course you can always find these recipes on our website, WDSU.com. And so we have some garnishes here. We do. This is our Rouse's Sharp Cheddar. So we're just gonna sprinkle that on top. I love some corn chips on my chili. Again, adding more texture. You get more a texture. whole bunch of different textures in one bite. A little bit of fresh green onion. And then who doesn't love some fresh jalapenos? This looks delicious. I got my spoon here, I'm ready to taste it. But first, show people you know, what this dish looks like. The good thing about chili, it's pretty versatile. One of Drew Brees' favorite dishes, chili mac. You add a little mac and cheese to it, That's a little right. bit more broth. Add a little more broth to the uh, chili before you add the noodles into it, and it'll give you enough liquid to cook the pasta down in there and make a really great chili mac. All right, I got my spoon ready for the cowboy chili, and we want our defense to play some Texas Hold'em. Go Saints. Go Saints.